Fucking, you want to challenge this mode for you? No. Wait, why is my... Oh no. Oh no, the story's starting and I can't hear. Once upon a time, there was a plucky squire named Jot. Jot lived in the land of Mojo, a land of creativity. Mojo was ruled by the gentle queen, Chroma. He defended the land from the nefarious sorcerer, Humgrump. Which everyone very much appreciated. <laughs> Good lad, well racking. Jot was also a writer and would transcribe his many adventures in book form. These tales were avidly read by all the people of the land, who found them quite gripping. Jot awoke one fine morning and pluckily leapt from his bed. From afar, he could hear some rather exciting music. He got dressed and went to investigate. Chapter 1 Some Serious Beeswax okay. So this is me, right? Oh shit. Okay. Can I slice this? Oh, I can slice the tree? Okay. The music was really booming, no doubt. Hey! This was the house of the good wizard, Moonbeard. Jod's close friend and mentor. Ah, Jot, my lad! He explained. I'm on a roll here, traveling to new musical realms. Since you're here, lad, I have a small favor to ask. Wax. Ten I days. need more wax, lad. To press more records, you know. Would you go to Honey Peak and get some wax from Benny B? Benny B don't look like he's gonna give me any wax. Pip here will accompany you. What? Mini quest. Ooh -ha. You take care of the goblins and I'll haul the wax back here for you. Oh yeah, there'll be goblins. No sweat for you though, right Jot? Alright, let's go. Okay, gotcha. Alright, where they at? Can I... Oh. Left shift? Ah, oh, it's a roll. Okay. Give me that. I got an idea. Did I break this? Did I break this tree? I didn't see. The tome Tower. God, that's not the way to Honey Pete. Where am I supposed to be going? Bruh, you sent me the wrong way. Uh, where the fuck am I supposed to be going? 
Did I step on this? Oh, I thought if I stepped on that, it was... Oh, maybe I have to step on it this way. Oh. That would have been cool. It's not this way. What? Well, where are you trying to get me to go? Have to go up in the forest? Maybe? Ah, I didn't see that. Okay, I see. The gate swung open for Plucky Squire. Alright. Honey Peak. The land of Mojo. Definitely need a controller for this. I'm not gonna lie. Now this looked really quite precarious. Precarious indeed. Oh shit. Right. Is there a double jump? Nope. Oh shit. Boss fight, let's go. Ah, the top of Honey Peak. The view is incredible. Now that right there is a massive owl. Um, owl? Oh, that owl, okay. That's Tome Tower, that is. Uh-oh. Honey badgers eating Benny B's honey. Be on your toes, Jot. A honey, a hungry honey badger can be really cranky. Well, he's not hungry anymore. Whoa, I was about to swing at him too. Oh heck, here we go. The honey badger seemed rather annoyed. Uh oh. Jot prepared for a dust up. Oh, it's boxing. Oh. Oh. Okay, you bitch. I am not dodging that too well. I'm getting my ass whooped. I am. Oh, it's telling me what it does. I wasn't even seeing that. Oh, I'm trying to punch with the other hand. Damn it. I was lucky. Guys, it took me a minute to kind of figure that out. The beast was bested. Yeah. The plucky squire triumphant.
Well, many thanks, Jot. You did me a solid. That honey badger was really messed with my beeswax. Anyhow, gang. Anyhow, gang. What brings you here? Moonbeard sent us, Vinny. He could really do with some of that beeswax if you have some to spare. For sure, Pip. My man, I owe you guys. Here you go. Compliments to the whiz. Hmm? What's going on? What's with all the ominous darkness? They fell! Oof! It was time to confer with Moonbeard. Is that the wizard? Yep, it's Humgrump, alright. Always up to treacher treacherous trickery, that one. There's something rather odd about the magic he used. And this is not usually how the story goes, you know. That is to say, um... Forget about that. Um, this is a job for Plucky Squire, Jack. Home Grump is at the Tome Tower. Head there and make sure that creepy little twerk doesn't cause any more bother. Hello? It was Violet. Violet was a trainee witch with a love of art. And Jot's childhood friend. Hey Jot, we got another humgrump situation, huh? Moonbeard gave me the skinny. That Weasley wizard is at Tome Tower. You kids head over there and Jot. Put a stop to Humgrum's malarkey. I'll look into that strange green magic. And have a donut. But that's by the by. Later. Goodbye and good luck. Although you never really need it, do you, Jot? No lie, I'm pumped that I'm going to get to see Plucky Squire in action. A pow. Lead the way, Jot. Supposed to hit these. What's that? Art, art collector. You got a new piece of artwork. Press tab to show in gallery. Cross up the area mountains. Really comes up to the game environments. This should eventually become the Greenlands in the early chapters of the game. I don't know what the light bulbs are for, but you're falling. By the way, the blank swung open the gate. What the gate right here? Where's he open? Uh, 
I don't care about y'all. You always have a way with words, Jot. Hmm? There's a shop. Martina. Greetings, brave warriors. My name is Martina. Nice to meet you. You adventurers cut down the fearsome enemies and I slash prices. Let me show you what I have for sale. Sword throw badge. For your sword to attack enemies or retrieve goodies from a distance. Art scroll. The only thing I can afford right now. I can't. I really want this. I'm gonna save for that. Love to make your acquaintance. Be sure to check again. Next time we meet, I'll have new stock. You keep saving the land from the bad business from bad business and my business will save you from bad deals. So long, brave warriors. Huh? Oh are you kidding me? I'm about to go over there and slice all those bushes. I almost wanna go back now. Can I chop the streets down now? No. Hold up. Is there any bushes over here? There are three, four, five, okay, let's see. Four, five. Four, six. Seven, twenty-eight. Oh, please be lucky. Yes. One more. Fuck. <laughs> there was none here. Oh, yeah, there is. A whole bunch. Let's go. I almost can buy both. Sword again to retrieve it. All right. Uh, no. No. We got it. Our score that can be found in the land of Mojo. All right. Oops. All right. Back up. All these bushes. What is this? You found a lost glitch bird that returned to its homeland. Okay. Oh, there it is. That mysterious ancient owl. All the knowledge of Mojo is supposed to be stored in there, you know? Whoa! Not sure the ground should be doing this. Oh, bother. Chapter 2 Tome Tower. Our heroes hung on to the cliff's edge by their fingernails. 
happened suddenly. They were grabbed and hoisted up. Who this? By who? By Thrash. All right. Thrash was a mountain troll. And Jort and Violet's childhood friend. Mm. The trio had not been together for quite a while. And so were very happy to be reunited. Thrash, oh boy, you really saved our skins. We're happy to see you. Triple Trouble together again. Okay. I'm just stoked I could find you dudes. After all this craziness kicked off, I checked in with Moonbeard. He told me you were both headed to the Tome Tower. I figured I'd help you on your way. The path is wrecked, huh? Well, there's more than one route to Tome Tower. Let's get down to the ground. What? He jumped off the book. Tome Tower. Uh, this is really quite high, isn't it? Well, if anyone can lead the way down, it's Thrash. Let's do this. Am I just jumping? Oh. Oh crap. Damn it. Oh, damn it. Damn. What? I can't jump up. How did I jump like that? Jock dusted himself off and arose to fight once more. How did I even jump like that? That was weird. Thrash waiting on the ground, cool as a cucumber. Nice climbing, dude. We both got down that cliffside with banging style. You got a good rhythm going there, dudes. You think? You know, I did feel rather graceful, sort of like hopping uh, a hopping mountain rabbit. Well, now we're now we're down on the ground. Best get on to the Tone Tower. Lead the way, plucky squire. Yeah, I'm about to cut these up now that I know their money. What? Look at those bouncing boulders. They're just vanishing in the thin air. They are not. Majorly weird. Oh, 
try to jump off. Home Tower. Oh, it looks angry. Good job, none of us is wearing red. Woo! Oh, man. God's wearing red. Is it red? I suppose it is kind of red. More of a crimson than a scarlet. I don't think bulls are that picky. Whoa. That, that is not the button. Let's go. Let's go. Peace art. Art collector. Got a new piece of artwork. Press tab to show in the gallery. Did I miss one? Cross up character Jot. The early character design. This was before Jot was a writer. And didn't have a quill in his hat. He already has that plucky disposition, though. Looks much more petite than usual. Oh, that's not new Moonbeard Thrash. That's Mini Beard. He's like a tiny version of Moonbeard. Usually you'll find him at Moonbeard's house helping him out. Today it looked like he's out and about. Hey, Mini Beard, what's cooking? Yo, you'll need a key if you want to be journeying onward. If you walk to the right here, you'll just might find one. I see it. Free advice from old Mini Beard. Thanks, Mini Beard. Helpful fellow. You know, if you're stuck on something and Mini Beard is around, always pay to ask him. He's full of answers. Yeah, but I'm going to this first. This must be what the key's for. Those to the gate? Nope. Two bulls, huh? Oh, that's all. It'll stick. And I can pull it back. That's dope. Got the key. I knew you'd do it. Thanks, Mini Beard, dude. Right. Here was a secluded forest. Ah, oh, greetings, travelers. Three. My name is Topsy. Hey, Topsy. I see you are on a quest of some kind. You know, Topsy may be able to help you, but there's something you could perhaps assist me with first, namely my tummy. 
It is empty. I left my biscuits around here somewhere, you see? And the landscape, it seems to have changed somewhat. Which has resulted in those biscuits becoming lost. A cat shouldn't be parted from their biscuits. We'll find them for you, Topsy. Oh, that would be extraordinarily helpful. A little advice. There's a word on that sentence. There's a word in that sentence just there. That might be a key to all this landscape shifting antics. Uh, you might identify which word is causing all the mischief by giving it a good whack. forest Don't mind me Don't mind me Beard. Now then, you seem to be doing all right, lad. Um. Maybe. Put the forest back. Hard to control with the keyboard and mouse. Oh my god, really? Really? Do shit. But I think yeah, I it's really hard to control on keyboard. And this is definitely meant to be played with uh, controller. Oops. 
iPad. My biscuits. How oh, I have dreamed of this moment, travelers. You have my sincerest thanks. The prospect of this snack brings a smile to my face. Oh shit, that confused me for a second. This land's full of puzzles and trickery. Always remember, things are somewhat not what they seem. When you get stuck, try to see things from a different angle. Good luck, biscuit saviors. Care to take a look at my current selection? Damn it. Sword damage upgrade. Let me get that. Let me get that art scroll. That second one must have been that first one. That was sold. That I didn't buy. Concept character Moonbeard, the early character design Moonbeard before his sunglasses. Oh my god. This is so silly. Our trio stopped in their tracks. There, on the horizon, loomed Cho Tower. It got dark around here pretty fast. There's some magic afoot. Everything feels kind of fizzy. The fuck? bolts. Very metal. Spawning monsters? Oh my god! Ash! Get off the keyboard! <laughs> that is not where you lay! Get off the keyboard! I'm about to die. Oh. 
Thank you. Woo. You crazy cat. Hello, young adventurers. Are you on your way to Tome Tower? Yep, that's where we're headed. Just beware, Dark Wizard occupies the tower. His magic is causing pandemonium. I mean, look at this lo lovely bridge. Unmitigately obliterated. Oh yeah, wrecked. Hmm, is there another way across the waters? Oh. Looks like there's an underground tunnel. Hey, Vengeance. Promising, promising. Not really. What else? what else is here? I didn't know these. You can knock bulbs out of these trees. Man, real gloomy. Dig the acoustic stuff. Lead on, ju uh, Jop, my dude. The plucky glow will light the way. So I picked the right way. Noise. Did you look at that? We crossed the river. On we go. that other one, but, oh. Gotta take a look at my current selection. Spin attack. Sword throw upgrade? You got a new piece of artwork. Press tab to show in the gallery. For some early concept of game environments. Okay. Yeah, I can't buy that yet, so. Probably would be able to if I didn't spend my money. What? Oh, there. All these books are really eerie. Pretty cool visual, though. You know I'm about to kill all these bushes because I want these currencies. Yep. Uh, 
wondering if I, what happened when I hit one. Big block of books. These books had been purposely stacked. That was actually pretty dope. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah! What? Big block of books. Purposely stacked. Okay. Pages were scattered. Big block of books. Oh, I'm going here. I need to take the word scattered and change it that they're perfectly scattered. And I'm pretty sure it's going to change some shit. Oh no. I hate these things. Oh. Let's go. Alright. Let's go. Pages were, let's see. Pages were stacked on the ground. Cool jot, he will get what he deserves. The time is near. Uh, hey, that's a bit creepy. I tried to plucky squire. Oh, you just keep giving me bushes so I can give me upgrades later. I will be alright with that. Tower. So this is where it all kicks off. A historical location and no mistake. Huh? Okay. Well, hello and goodbye, I guess. No idea who that was. So much oddness around these parts. Anyways, here we are. Tome Tower. It looks like Humgrum. Uh, is still up there on the roof. It's time for the plucky squire to go take uh, take care of that creep. We'll stay down here, dude. We don't want to cramp your style. This is one of those dramatic, heroic kind of moments, you know. During your big showdown, you don't want us two dorks mooching around in the background. Nope. We'll mooch down here instead, but we'll be cheering you all the way. Lovely. Mooching and cheering, Jot. That's more our style. Go get that champ. Go get that chump. Okay. Can I go through here? No. Nope. Nope. Alright, let's get it. Uh, 
Jot made his way up the steep steps. Alright. Ah. The plucky, plucky squire. I've been waiting for you. So glad to see you made it to Tome Tower. You might be wondering if Humgrump is... What Humgrump is doing here. Well, I had hum... Hunch... I had a hunch grump. I might find something interesting in this old tower. And something interesting I did indeed find. A book. It was hidden away in a very secret chamber. Because this is a very special book. The title of this very special book is... The Plucky Squire. Yes, that's right. This book is all about you. And me. And all who lived in this dreaded land. It is the story of our lives. It turns out, you see, that our land of Mojo is just a setting in a storybook. Hard to believe, I assure you. It's true. What I'm holding here is a copy of that storybook. A book within a book, if you will. I read the book. It's very interesting. You and that witch girl adventuring through the land, meeting up with that little mountain troll, making your way here to meet me. In fact, I read ahead to this very chapter. And I'll see what happens next. We fight here on the roof. Any guesses how that turns out? And so, the Pluggy Squire once again defeated the wretched wizard Humgrum. <laughs> you win, as you always do. You know this book is one of a series, and in each one of those books you win. Every single stinking time. Because you are the Plucky Squire, the hero of the story, the boy who can do no wrong. Always victorious, even the little stories you write, beloved by all, infuriating, like a, like a mosquito in my cardigan, yes, that's an adequate metaphor. Me, I'm the villain, the ta talentless wizard who can do no right, destined to be beaten forever. At least, that is how it's been up until now, but maybe it doesn't need to be that way. Maybe even Humbro could get a little glory for once if the plucky squire were to be plucked from the book. And if he were to be ejected. My sword. Oh, now that's cool. What? I have no sword now. Can I get back in the book? Oh, this is cool. I see that arrow over there. I can't dodge roll anymore. Wait. Lucky Squire lunchbox. So this must be the um, uh, illustrator and storyteller's place. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do with that? You gonna push it off? There's a carrot up there. Can't push that. Headphones. Paint. If I step on it, does it get on my feet? No. Lucky Squire. Oh, hello. Is there someone out there? Would you be so kind as to open the lid of this lunchbox? Okay. How am I going to do that, Fairytale? Dead beetle. Why are there so many beetles? Can't really see. What am 
am I supposed to do here? What am I supposed to do here? Is there a button? Is this a button? Like, this giving me no direction on what I'm supposed to do here. Am I supposed to push this, maybe? Here. and push S to open. Um, okay. Do you remember me, chat? We met in your book. I'm not actually from there, you know. Us bookworms travel around a fair bit from book to book. But you, Jot, are a character from a book and shouldn't really be out here. It's Humgrum's magic that blasted you out of the page and onto the desk, isn't it? Well, I have to get you back into your book, Jot. It is of utmost, uh, paramountcy? In other words, very important. You know, there are some intriguing items on this desk. Some of them might help you return. Head around the corner to the left and we'll try to find one. Oh, I got a carrot. That's all that matters. Oh. I can throw it. Can I grab one of these grapes? Oh. Hello there again. Do you see that magical swirl green thing? That's a metamagical portal. That is, it seems to allow travel between different worlds. Most characters cannot travel through these portals or pass between realms. But Jot, you have already made that leap once. Maybe you can do it again. Try jumping through the portal, young squire. <laughs> Remarkable. Some of that meta magic must have rubbed off on you, Jot. Like me, it seems you are now you now have the power to leap between worlds. Now this world here is a sketch that was drawn by the occupant of this room. And the owner of your storybook, Jot. A young boy named Sam. He is a very creative child. You'll find his sketches all over this desk. Since you can jump onto them, maybe you can use them to get around. So I have the right. Okay. Low energy. Too hungry to move. Too hungry to converse. Please. Get me a snack. I got you a snack right here. Look, so hungry. But that food item you have is not really into, honestly. Fuck. All right, put that shit down right here. All right. I know. Yeah, I'm gonna get the carrot. That's kind of crazy. Exceptional. You can really bring items between realms. This may be handy. I already did that though. There we go. Oh shit. Delicious. Carrot boost. Energy levels restored. Oh. Am I in your way? Sorry about that. Here, let me scooch. Did I bring my I'm bringing this? Um, okay. I have the grape. I have the grape. I cannot turn the screen, by the way. Now, can I go back? Um, okay. It would not let me take the grape. This thing, okay. How do I get the jump? Can I grab this? No. I can't. Right. Go way up. Can't 
tell if there's a way up or not. It, well, it won't let me jump into the portal from here. And I can't just... Wait. I didn't go this way. What am I hearing? Alright, um, if I could move that block, that would be key. But I cannot. What the fuck do they want me to do here? Can I go this way? That's where I was before. There is a sticker of a ladybug. Something I could do with the cards? No? I can see myself here. Ah, here we go. Good going, young squire. I believe that the item that can help you get back to your world is further ahead. But listen, on your way, you may run into creepy crawly... Clolio... Petra? Petra? What? Beetles. What? Sam likes to keep them as pets, you see. Beware, Jot. Don't get eaten. It simply wouldn't do. Alright, come on, Ash. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Don't lay on my keyboard. Thank you. I'm kind of blocking my mouse too, by the way. Not that I really need it. I'm right, to make sure there's nothing over here. Your footsteps. I don't have my dodge roll anymore. I guess I need to avoid them, because I can't fight. Hold left shift or move without making a sound. Okay. Hold up. Okay. I thought I was coming for my ass, boss. Right. Alright. You would think that these things... jump on this. Maybe. Big braining. What? Oh no. Oh. Oh shit. Okay. I still need the dice.
This is actually crazy. Man, fall down there, it's death. Saving, that's good. Oh shit. What? What? How the fuck am I gonna get out of here? Jot! You made it! My fears have been all... Uh, have been allayed. It seems that nothing can hinder the plucky squire. On that very note, while you were here, there's something that you really must have observed. Huh. These sketches of you, quite remarkable. Likeness, I must attest. The person who drew all this is called Sam. He is the boy who lives in this room and is the owner of your storybook. As you might be able to tell, he is very fond of you and your adventures. I'm glad that you got to see this, Judd, to see how much you mean to him. And why he got them be these beetles all up in here? But there is no time to dwell on that. Your quest, your quest to re-enter the book is near its pinnacle. Uh, the items you need is just beyond the sketchbook. Press on. I'll be sneaking. Uh oh. Alright. Alright. How the fuck am I gonna get that? I don't even think I can I jump up there? Okay, no. I can. Maybe. Hold on. Okay. One more try. I don't think I can. No. It looks like I have to climb up there somehow. Hold on. Let me look in here real quick. I just want to see what's in here. Okay. So that's the next... area there's nothing I can pick up in here to throw at that unless there's something here oh. okay. all right so I gotta make my way through get the dice throw it at the uh, domino piece looking things get up there and I can move on that's what it looks like all right. why am I not sneaking There we go. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. Where the fuck am I supposed to go from here? Oh shit.
Okay. I don't like this one. Up there. <laughs> oh man, I was about to freak. I'm not even gonna lie. I wish I could cut these little plants. Hey, you little bitch. Is this? I got the turn gauntlet. Now he has the power to manipulate his storybook. Press Q when next to the book to open it. You got the gauntlets. Exceptional procurement. Head back to your book. Post haste. I think you'll find that the gauntlets will help you return home. One last thing before you leave this table, Jot. It's very important. Beware of Humgrump. He wishes to take over your book. You have to stop that from happening. Not just for the sake of the citizens of your book, but for all the children who will read and be inspired by your book. Sam is one of those children, Jot. You know, us bookworms, we're able to get glimpses of the past, present, and even the future. I've seen that Sam will one day grow up to be a writer and an illustrator himself. He will create a series of very popular children's books with very lucrative merchandise tie-ins and brand integrations. Okay. Sam's books will go on to inspire many other children. That is, if he ever actually writes them. If Humgrum takes control of your book, the story will get worse. Books with bad stories get put away on the shelf. No one reads them anymore. Those books lose all their life and cease to cease being an inspiration to anyone. Your book will no longer inspire Sam, and then, who knows what path he will take? Not to let that happen. Uh, do not let that happen, Jot. Return now and stop Hungrum. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay, that's the book over there. Okay, where am I at? Alright. We're going down here. There's my book. Damn it. Let's go. We're back in the book, baby. Dot, my lad. Welcome back to Mojo. We have much to discuss. Chapter 3. Chapter Moonbeard. Alright, this is a perfect place to stop for now. I'm going to continue this tomorrow. Um, on live stream, of course, on Twitch. I'm probably going to try to load this part and have it up on the YouTube by the time I start tomorrow. Actually, this is pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Hmm, I seem to feature rather prominently in this chapter. Let's go. Better put my best foot forward then. Alright. Oh, you can skip minigames. 
Greetings, lad. Hey, Jot. Glad you're back here in one piece. I suppose you must have a great number of questions, lad. To answer... The answer to the first question is... Yes, I'm aware of how cool these sunglasses look. The answer to the second question is... Yes, your entire world is indeed a land in a storybook. Bananas, huh? I've kept this knowledge closely guarded secret for many years. Somehow, the greasy... Nincompoop... Umgrump found out. Very regrettable. Now he knows the truth. Who knows what mischief he's planning. I have a hunch that big trouble is on the way. But that just means, young squire, that we must be double the trouble. Follow me. First order of business. Getting in and out of the book. See that green sparkly stuff over there? Meta magic, that is. It lets you break, break the fourth wall, which is another way of saying jump out of the book. Walk into the portal and try holding the E button. What's an E button? Not entirely sure, but you should press it and hold it. Yo, what up, King? Yeah, I'm about to end. I'm just trying to get to a save point right now. Hope everything is well. Testing, testing. Mm -hmm. Jot, I'm talking to you via Rune Tooth Headset. Rune Tooth Headset. Jesus Christ. You know, I'm subtly feeling rather parched. Wizards are like plants. We must keep hydrated. Use your page turning abilities to get me something to drink. Approach the edge of the book and see what you can do. Okay. Here we go. Let's take a look at this. Seems like you can use A and D to turn the pages. Let's get to it then. Okay. Oh, so I can't turn forward. Okay. You see that glow around the edges of the paper? I was just getting off of work and out the shower and I just put a whole bag of jelly beans. Oh shit. All right. Uh, the book's telling you there's something useful on this page. Just try jumping in and seeing what you can find. Okay. Alright, yep. right, we got it. You out. My fuzzy pop. That'll do very nicely. Head back here and drop that off. Alright, so we jump out. Pop. We will manipulate the book, turn the pages, okay, exit, jump back in the book, pop time. Ah, that's the ticket, thanks lad. Those turn gauntlets can be very handy, don't you think? I was the one that put them on the desk. I've stored a number, number of useful items out there, but there's one small problem. I'm not sure of their precise location. Things get moved around. Sam is full of energy, you know. It's chaos out there. When you need one of those items on the desk, you'll have to search for yourself. Last point of order. Mini Beard. Yo. I hear you have, uh, I hear you've already met. Mini Beard is a tiny, Similacrum of me. I created him to help out around the house. Man drunk the hell out of drink. Yeah, he did. Um, let's see. Uh, he's quite helpful and rather good at puzzles, you know. If you're having trouble with a puzzle and you see him around, why not ask his advice? There's a lot of wisdom, wisdom stored in that tiny bearded head. Jot. Orlando's never been troubled by something quite like Humgrum's meta magic before. There may be great upheavals and big battles ahead, but I have faith you'll rise to whatever challenge or throw in your way. Uh, you are the plucky squire, after all. I believe in you. Always have, lad. Now, I expect that your friends are waiting for you. If you leave the book and turn to the next page, I think you'll find them. Alright, let me jump out. And can I save here? Because I do not want to move forward from here. That was when I quit.
All unsafe progress will be lost. Last save was five minutes and 47 minutes ago. No. We resume until we save. All right. Oh, here we go. We've lost Chot. I can't believe it. We shouldn't have just let him come up here by himself. We should have had his back. But what could we have done? We're not warriors like him. Never have been, never will be. We'll project Mo protect Mojo now that he's gone. Me. Get my sword. God! Dude. You're alright. Wait. You're not a ghost, are you? Of course he isn't, Thrash. Look at his face. He is a normal, squidgy face. So happy to see it. Jack, where were you? Hello, gang. Moonbeard, is that you? Indeed, I'm talking to you via a device known as a Rune Tooth headset. This is a strange magical form of communication known as a conference call. All very exciting. Now listen up. This business with Humgrump is rather worrying. We must consult with Queen Chroma at Ar Artia City. You three should head there now. I've got some wizard's business to attend to and, d and donut to eat. I'll join you kids later. Violet, Thrash, I'll fill you in on the situation while you travel. Moonbeard out. Conference call? Well, you heard him. A trip to Artia City, my hometown. Oh, Jot, I'm so glad you're okay. Come on, let's scoop. I'm about to get my sword. Let's go. Alright, I still haven't seen save yet. And so our heroes set off to Artia City to visit the good Queen Chroma. Saving. Chapter 4 A Treacherous Trail. Yeah, Snail Trail. <clears throat> Alright. Now we can quit. Fifteen seconds ago. <laughs> yes. Alright, very cool. Very cool game. I will finish this. Not finish it, but... Because I think this game is rather large. Um, this game is 22 gigabyte, believe it or not. So, I'm assuming this game is going to be quite the playthrough. Um... So I'll play it tomorrow a little bit, and then tomorrow we're also going to do Lethal Company in the night. Uh, so, yeah, if you're around, definitely can join that. I have cats all over my freaking desk right now, bathing and all kinds of shit. Alright, um, I don't think there's anybody to raid. I'm just going to shut down. Appreciate everybody for coming through. King, thank you for stopping by. Uh, everybody who lurked, appreciate that. I did a little... Uh, core keeper earlier as well but i wanted to try this out see if it's something i wanted to play tomorrow and i think it is something i want to play it seems pretty cool uh it's different and it's the first game by this developer so i want to see what what they do with it so all right i'm just going to shut down with the last call